Hello guys, this video will show you some materials that you may need when make a lithium battery pack. A complete set of a lithium battery pack includes a charger, a battery and a BMS. We begin with the battery cells. We always divide the cells according to the shape. They are cylindrical, prismatic and also we have punch. Let's take this as an example. And this is a cylindrical cell at 3.7 volts and 2500 amps power. This is the prismatic cell. It's a Leon battery with 3.7 volts and 50 amps power. It's relatively large capacity and that is can replace 20 cylindrical cells like this. So this one, now I hold it, is the bracket. It's usually used in the fixation of the cylindrical cells. And next one is the BMS, which is an important control component of battery pack. It can ensure that the battery operates in safe voltage. And this one is a Highland ballot paper. And this one is double sided sticky Highland ballot paper. It can be used to insulate the lithium batteries. And this is a nickel strip. It's used for strings and the parallel connection of the cells. And this one is a silicon glue. It can play a fixed and waterproof function. These are the different types. This one is a high temperature type, it's a flame retardant, and the fiber type, because of toughness, can mainly use to hold in place. And this one is the double sided type. And now we have the EBS pouch. It mainly plays a rope of button in the filling, and this one we call this boxy board, which we use as flame retardant and in solution and fixative. The last one is the battery box. Uh, depending on the material, it could be made of cold rose steel, plastic, or stainless steel. The two most important functions of it are for convenience and a better waterproofing. In order to ensure the consistency of the battery pack, we need to assemble them with the same capacity. So this device beside me is a capacity taster with eight interface. We use it for testing. So this one is our sorting equipment. Its name is Intelligence Resistance of Battery Meter. It helps to sort the voltage and internal resistance. And this is the welding machine. We choose the welding machine with the corresponding power according to the thickness of the nickel strip. And the following equipment is the charging and discharging aging instruments for lithium batteries. We use it to test the performance of the sample of the battery pack. For example, whether it can be fully charged or fully discharged, and whether the capacity of the battery is sufficient. Okay, this is the end of today. We will see you next time.